Alright, Shalom, Shalom. This is the Wild Judah coming in with another quick lesson. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and double honors to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Makakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, appreciate his word, truth and faith, and strong me and Sicily. Shalom to the Akim, that's God through the four corners of the earth, preaching his word, truth and faith, and strong me and Sicily. Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word, truth and faith, and strong me and Sicily. I say shalom to y'all. And the title of this lesson be, Be Spiritually, <clears throat> Be Spiritually, uh, be spiritually and physically sober and vigilant in the times ahead. And this is the book of First Peter, chapter 5, verse 8, King James Holy Bible through the Holy Scriptures. And it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary is the devil, as a warring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. And you know, so it's going to be spiritual Satan. You know, he tried to seek the attention of people to uh, to be evil and have a, a negative mindset and not be spiritually positively thinking you know that's what Satan wants us to do and then you got the spiritual Satan and the physical Satan and the physical Satan try to walk around and see if he can devour people and see if he can uh, spoil the uh, negative 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 way of uh, trying to uh, make people think his ways and the evil ways and the unrighteous ways you know so in the times that we are living in right now you know we definitely gonna be spiritually sober and uh, physically uh, sober as well too and vigilant so we gotta definitely be a vigilant around our surroundings and through the spirit as well too because you, you know have those evil demonic spirits around you you know that evil spiritual uh, flesh is going to be on people in the atmosphere of it as well too so you know that's why we thank the most high for these scriptures for these uh, scriptures that make us comfortable with the wisdom knowledge and understanding in the book of Isaiah 33 and verse 6 that we're going we're gonna to be needed you know that's why we thank the Most High all day, every day for this truth, for the true gospel and the true sound doctrine of Yahweh Bashim al As the Most High, uh, the mouthpiece of the prophets, of his prophets, the servants of great millstones, starting with the elders, apostles, the great mighty men of millstone, great millstone, and the elders in our camp, and the top leaders in our camp as well too to uh, the top leader and to the Akim on down and the brotherhood in that order. So that's why we trust and put our faith in the Lord always and all the time. So we could be sober spiritually and sober uh, physically in our bodies. And these, like the scripture said, even though uh, the flesh is weak, that's why we gotta uh, fight that flesh and fight that uh, evil spirit and fight the evil demonic spirits realms around us and around people as well too that's why we try to keep that positive mindset that positive wisdom knowledge and understanding in the times that we're living in that's why we got to be continuously prayed up continuously uh, spiritually mind through the scriptures through the holy scriptures and the volume of the book of Yahweh Bashem Malashat that's why the man of the Lord out there preaching week in and week out to preach the true gospel scattered through the four corners of the earth as you see that right before your eyes. So, you know, I just wanted to bring out this uh, quick lesson, you know, in the times ahead that we are living in. Because, you know, we're going to be spiritually sober and spiritually uh, positive in the mind, in the body. And the flesh is real too. As long as we can be able to continue to believe in Yahweh Bashim and Shah, you know, anything is possible. And we can fight this weak flesh, you know, and fight the evil spirit and, and fight with good spirit, you know, and we can be able to maintain 
uh, balance uh, every day, walk of life, and hopefully Lord willing, give us continue to give us that right direction in the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. So uh, I want just want to just bring this quick lesson, as I mentioned before. So I hope this was edifying. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory, double honors to to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, Bashem Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles pushing this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shout out on to the Aki. That's got through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shout out on to the Aki. That be like unto the speckled bird, pushing this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And with that, I say shalom.